How's it going everyone? It's Silly here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do my uh, shiny ball speed art thing that I did. Um, I said if I get enough likes or whatever or if I just feel like it I will do a tutorial and this is basically what it is. Um, these are optional but it's also a realistic view lighting so you know you don't have to go out and buy programs and all that or uh, um, plugins. But yeah so you can either just add this for Maybe a flash or something, or a extra light. But um, yeah. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make that. Here's the scene. Um, if you didn't see it in the speeder, you see at the floor three balls. Um, the back two lighting, and the lighting up top. Which you can also change the uh, radius and stuff on that. So let's go to a new one. I am going to my uh, 1080p JPEG just because I already have that and there's nothing on it. So we're going to just keep it like this. Okay, so first what you're gonna do is uh go to here. So the light one looks at the light, you go to floor, and then you're also going to go to background. So off the floor, you're gonna right click, go to cinema 40 tags, and go to compositing. Now on compa compositing, you're gonna un uncheck self shadowing and check composite background. So now you will have a seamless drop. Uh, instead of this, like if you were to have background off, it looks like this. But if you put background on, it looks like this. So, and also you don't have to build no actual studio thing that takes a while. Um, second, what you're going to have to do is uh, add the sphere. So let's add this, basically get it as close to the ground as possible. Like right there. All right. Uh, actually you could do the sphere first or you can do the uh, lighting first it doesn't matter but I'm going to be showing you both they're both the same thing uh, next you're going to copy the sphere twice uh, basically in the same position and you can move it over a certain amount so let's see what is this at I'll actually make them even to zero let's go to let's do 250 250 and then let's do this one negative 250 on the x y the x axis. Okay, so as you can see now, all three of the balls are lined up, and I made them perfectly symmetrical. I usually don't do that, but uh, you can if you want. So next, you're gonna go to uh, you can double click make a new material. Actually, we'll do that next. I'll actually do the lighting first. So what you're gonna have to do is go to this little cube, go to plane, you drag it up a little. Go a top view of it. Drag it to the side. You can actually click this. So you can just drag these down to a size that you want. Doesn't matter what size you have. It's gonna look pretty good usually in the end. So once you have the plane set, you're gonna go to MoGraph Cloner, and then drag the plane under the cloner. Drag that. Drag the cloner up a little bit. Uh, change the mode to Crude Array and change the middle count, the one at three center object, to one. Once you do that, you can go to size and either 500 on both, on the first count and the third count. Actually, let's do 600 on the second one. So 500, 600, and they are both about spread out evenly. So you're gonna click on the cloner again, drag it up some more and that's what that looks like. Drag it down a little bit because it's going to be like that in the frame. So next uh, for the materials you can either double click on this material list click double click right here uh, which is what I usually do or you can go to file new material or control N uh, command N if you're on Mac. Go, okay go, next go to material editor so double click on this. Uh, take off specular and turn on reflection and luminance. So on color, you're gonna basically you can make this any color. I will make it green for the sake of the speed art. And the last one, green too. Actually, you should probably be using screen color. So it's gonna look like that, and you're gonna go to reflection, go to texture and this, I don't know, maybe it's luminance, texture, and the posture, pretty sure. 
I'm actually just going to open up mine. And you can uh, see it. I forgot what it is. But uh, let's see. File, load material, material, global illumination, make, change color. So I'll actually delete these and open up these and I'll show you the settings. So there's no, no, there's colorizer, I guess, on here. Yeah, so I'll, if you want to look at these, you can just pause the video here. So colorizer, um, luminance has posture, something, and reflection is nothing. Uh, all these you want to basically keep the same color. So uh, again, for the sake the sake of the example for the um, tutorial thing or the speed art, I'm just gonna make them all green like that, and that comes out like this. Let's turn on global illumination. <clears throat> Shouldn't take too long to render. About probably three more seconds, or four or five. And so they come out like that. Looks like the lighting isn't actually showing up. So maybe let's move it like this, and then render preview. Again, another few seconds. Oh, I know why the lighting isn't showing up. Um, all right, so next you're gonna have to do is I'm gonna open up my material for it. I have a lighting material. Uh, basically, it is just color and luminance, and everything is white. So I'll show you how to do that here. Let's do that. And uh, that's all you have to do to turn on, uh, just color and luminance, don't have to change any colors, uh, keep it a white. I'm going to delete mine just because I have a fancy here. So then you're going to put that on the plane. It changes a little when you don't click on it. Well, if you're clicked on it, it's grid, but it's gray right now. So if you put the color on it, it becomes a nice bright white. So we can put that right there. Nope, oh, didn't want to do that. Render preview. And uh, now you can see that the lighting is actually coming on there. I'm probably going to zoom it out here in a second just to uh, remove it up again. Okay, so now next we're going to do the black. So I'm just going to copy this. This is what you can do to... Uh, just copy the first layer that you made and then uh, just change the color but when you're doing black make sure it's not a full black so basically a lighter gray almost because a uh, full black if you saw in the um, speed art that it just didn't fully come up so actually screen color right there all right so now we'll put the black on these two and then uh, before I render preview that, it will also add the other plane. Rotate this 90 degrees. Pretty sure it's this one. 90 degrees. And rotate it. Uh, I'll do it this way 45. Negative 45, wrong way. Um, and go back to move. Actually, you're probably going to do it at a negative 35. Move that up a little, and put the lighting um, one that we made with the specular and color also on that. And then also you can add this if you want, um, the sphere about right there, raise that up a little, move this over, or make it smaller and then move it over. All right, now we need the lighting on this one too. And then right here. And then that's pretty much it. Uh, you can just tweak around if you want to get all OCD about it. Um, probably going to here in a second, just to, because it, I really get anal about this. 
Alright, so now let's render preview this and just see what it looks like. You can also add text to it using the same color. I might put a download link for the lighting and everything and the color um, materials. I most likely will, just so you guys don't have to make it. Uh, be sure to check that out and everything. It will be in the description most likely. And uh, yeah, so let's do this. And that's what that looks like, so... Yeah, if you liked it, be sure to leave a like and everything if you want to see. Oh, actually, I left out one of the most important things. Uh, this will not work, actually, if you do not. If you're wondering why am I taking so long to render, um, it looks the self shadowing will not show up unless you have ambient occlusion and global illumination. You can, if you don't have that, you can go to effects right here, and there is global illumination. Well, there'll be in effects. If basically I didn't have these. I will delete them just to show you. So ambient occlusion and global illumination. They're both in there. You don't have to change anything in these. Um, you can save it as high or as good as you, whatever you want to save it as. Uh, your output, whatever you want to. I use 10, 1920 by 1080 because I have a desktop. Oh, speaking of, there's uh, the one I did for the tutorial. But um, so also, yeah, you can just do that and you can name it and everything. But yeah, if you guys liked it, be sure to leave a like and everything. Uh, tell me if you want a background, maybe I'll make you something like this. Or uh, if you saw that silly one that I just had on there, right here. Oh, that's girlfriend. Uh, that's another one that's with emitter, just showing you different uh, backgrounds. But oh, I don't do that. <clears throat> so yeah, if you liked it, just uh, message me. I'll try to make you a background. Tell me what you want on it. Um, also, if you want more Cinema 4D tutorials, just tell me about it and everything, and uh, comment, leave a like. Showing likes does definitely shows me that you guys want more tutorials and everything. So, um, yeah, again, this picture will be in the download link in the description and also in the other one, and I will see you guys later. Peace!